Hello YouTube, it's Cybertron765, and as you can tell, we're, pro we're, we're not in our um, tutorial world today. We're not even in our, uh, we're not in our um, Sky Factory world, and we're not even in our uh, original uh, Resonant Rise world. The reason I say original is because we're in Resonant Rise, but we're in a world that I've been playing on just for fun. Um, and... <laughs> Uh, as you can see, I've just got this huge field of barley, just because I could. Um, took a long time to plant all that. I had to clear out this whole layer that my house and uh, all this barley, this barley field is on. Uh, I had to clear out this whole layer of trees and just grass and all that crap. Um, yeah, it it was not fun. And, and here's my house. Uh, I just wanted to do this. I might actually uh, switch my Resident Rise Let's Play over to this, uh, just because I've been having more fun on this uh, this world right here. Um, here's my power setup for right now. I've got uh, some photovolic cells, which basically they're just like uh, Ender IO uh, solar panels. And the, uh, as you add on to the array, it adds uh, a greater internal buffer uh, for your power. So right now I've got uh, 190,000 uh, RF internal buffer. And I've also got a uh, energy cell in here that's got like 2 million power in it or something, something like that. Yeah, 2 million RF. And right here's... Um, you might recognize the alloy smelter from our um, Resonant Rise series, or not Resonant Rise. This is Resonant Rise from our Sky Factory series. Uh, I'm just using that just because basically it's it does the exact same thing as a smeltery. It smelts smelts your uh, ores, but it'll also smelt your alloys as well. And the thermal expansion version of that is kind of uh, it's I don't want to say expensive, but it's that that's cheaper than the than the uh, thermal expansion version. So yeah, and I've got uh, metallurgy confusers here and uh, transmutation table stuff like that. Uh, haven't finished the upstairs. Now I'm not sure about this room up here, but just because of this right here. I tried to make it look like as best as, like the outside as best as I could, but it didn't really work out that well. So yeah, I think I might end up um, moving this wall forward one, and this is gonna be my bedroom. And then up here at the top is my attic, I guess. Uh, I still need to put some glass in that win in that window up there, but we can wait for right now. Um, oh, I'm hungry. Eat my apples. Okay. And then the backyard is pretty cool. So instead of just building a fence around it, and s like I did out front with the. Um, barley field I just used raspberry bushes so it's more uh, functional than the fence than a fence would be so yeah pretty cool and then I've got like an apple orchard over here and my mine is down here and also this goes up to this deck which I think I'm going to make the entrance to the deck right here, because uh, I want you to be able to. I want to be able to walk out from my uh, house onto it, and then also there's another deck up front which you guys probably saw. It's right above here. Um, I want to also make that so I can walk out on it from inside my bedroom though. Um, so, I don't really know what I want to do today. Um, let's see. Let's look in NEI. Just see what we can do. Uh, let's 
find a mod. Mod AE2 stuff. Ancient Warfare Automation. Uh, wow, I just realized I got like really close to my webcam when I leaned in <laughs> like that uh, to read my mods. Uh, there's Archimedes Ship, Applied Energistics 2, Another One Bites the Dust, uh, Ancient Warfare Structures. Um, <laughs> now what I could do is, well, no. I was going to say I could try and work towards a dig digital miner, but then I realized I don't have stable enough power for that. Uh, so yeah, that's that's a no go. Um, I guess I could work on getting uh, a big reactor. So let's type in big reactor, and we need reactor casings. We need a bunch of those. That steel graphite bar. <laughs> smelt bunch. We need to smelt a bunch of coal. Let's do three steps. Hopefully it works in here. Come on. Come on. Yes, it works. Okay, so you guys might be wondering, how did he do all this? I mean, it it may look like I cheated, and I didn't. I did all of this legit. Like, seriously, it took a while. Like, a while. Like, a while. That's That's the only word, that's the only words I can use to describe it like a long time like about a week to do all of this and that that's to me that's just crazy because I would play like hours at a time and <laughs> it's just, <laughs> I mean it's not something that I've really done before I've never just played Minecraft for hours and hours on st non-stop. It was pretty fun though. Let's harvest all these apples. Just because I'm running low. I do have like two stacks of bread on me or something like that. But, oh well. That's not grown all the way. That is. That is. That is. Apples. Also, I have a chest full of just like Pam's Harvest Craft stuff. No, well, not Pam's Harvest Craft stuff only, but like. It's got a bunch of. I've been putting like all my organic stuff in there, like saplings and. and Pam's Harvest Craft stuff, uh, apples, wheat, stuff like that in there, and it's just completely full. I've been putting my fossils in there too because I don't want to really use those here. Uh, there's a queen bee, which why am I gonna? I'm not. I'm not gonna do bees. Bees are stupid. Uh, there's industrial hemp. I guess I could do something with that. Um, I've got just a couple of chests here full of junk. There's my smeltery stuff right there. I didn't really feel like keeping it out there. Uh, how much you got left? Still quite a bit. Um. <laughs> I guess we might be able to do a little bit. Let's take a stack of that. And where's my steel? There it is. And reactor casing. I got 36. 36. Let's put this over. Hmm. Can we put it upstairs? 
Let's put it over here on this side. Um, let's do a 4x4 four four one. Oh well, if I'm going to do a 4x4 four four one, got to move it over again. I think. Yeah, yep. Up to cross four cross four almost three I guess and then across two there I guess we got the basic frame down so now what we need is um man I gotta stop sitting up so close I feel like I'm just like getting right up in your faces um I need Eight Yellorium fuel rods, which is steel, and six steel, two graphite, and Yellorium ingot. Okay, we can do that. And how many did you get? did we get? Uh, just one. Okay, that might be a little bit of a problem. I said might. Here's, we, we'll just take all of our steel out of here. And then just that much of our stuff. Um, nope, that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You go back in here. And then we need some more control, or we need some more uh, reactor casings. So we need four of these, so 16 reactor casings. One, two. So we need to make two more sets of those. Okay, we had like just enough to make two sets of those. And then we need three graphite bars per reactor control rod. And then also one redstone per each one. So one, two, three, four. No, that was five. One, two, three, four. And then also for the reactor controller, we also need four reactor casings, and we also need another redstone, and we need a diamond. So five and a diamond. Okay. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one. Okay, so we need two, four more, right? No, five more. Yeah, five more. Oh, we've got six more. And then redstone, and what was on the bottom? That, yeah. Okay, now we can go put the control rods up there, along with the um, fuel rods. And then we'll make the power tap come out on this side and go down this way. I guess I've got to wait until I get some more casings to fill this in before I can put the uh, fuel rods in because if I do if, if I don't then I will not be able to complete the multi-block structure more graphite bars need some reactor casings let's just take 12 of them and then we'll make a control uh, controller <clears throat> and we'll head upstairs throw it up there and hopefully there will be more graphite done by the time we come back down we may have made a little bit too much graphite but better too much than not enough ok 
Okay, so we've got the controller, we've got the fuel rods, we've got the control rods, casings. Now we need two access ports, one for input and one for output. Uh, we can put one on the input one on this side. And then the output one can come over here. Or we can put both of them on this side, I guess. Yeah, we can put both of them on this side. And then power will come out on this side. And I think that's about it. We need the power tap. Yeah, I know, know about that. But yeah, I think that's it. So two access ports and a power tap. And then some more casings. Oh, I need to eat. I'll eat some of my fresh picked apples. We might actually get a uh, big reactor in this episode. So the power tap needs four of those and the access ports need four of those. So we need twelve casings. Yeah, twelve casings. And you know what? I should shouldn't have done that because I need some more. That's probably too many, but like I just said before, um, better too many than not enough. And yeah, that was way too many. Um, <laughs> so we need four redstone, and then this will take two, two redstone, basically. So we've already got some cobblestone. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then two iron for the pistons. And we also need some wood. And then some more wood for the chests that it it needs as well. There we go. Two chests. And two pistons. And two access ports. And then we'll do the um, power tap. And we have a reactor power tap. Now let's see. Um, now if I want to hook it up to that, I'm going to have to make it come outside. Hmm. This is going to be a challenge. Uh, we need some... Let's see. How do we make the... I forget how we make the conduits or flux ducts. Oh crap. I right clicked and it just untyped that. Flux duct. So it's lead, glass, and redstone. We've got plenty of that. Um, we'll do 16. Probably need a couple stacks of these, and then I think we might have enough lead as well. Let's throw all these back in there. Um, with our steel. Throw the gra graphite in there. We'll keep the Elorium, and we're gonna have to go get a hopper and a chest. Do we have any extra chests? No, we don't, so we're gonna have to make one. Awesome. And as soon as we 
build this, that'll be it for this episode. So, reactor access port, access port, this will be outlet, this will be inlet. Hopper on there, chest on the hopper. Power tap here, casing here, and we've got a big reactor. Let's shove all of our Eulorium in here, and then cut a hole in the floor over here. Stop picking up my apples. And hook this up to our main power system. Gotta cut another hole down here. That'll be fine though. I hate how the glass connects to the uh, to the flux ducts. That's just annoying. Why would you ever want glass to connect to these things? Okay, we've got a big reactor now. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please like if like the video if you liked it. Uh, comment um, and subscribe. Uh, also, please share the video. I'm not going to go through my, my whole spiel about it today. Um, and then also, uh, in the description below, there will be uh, links to my social media pages in the, the description. There's Tumblr, Twitter, and Facebook. Like me on Facebook. Follow me on Tumblr and Twitter. And goodbye.